Hello, everyone. So in the last session, we understand how to connect Java with MySQL database. So this is the code snippet, right? The first line class dot for name will help you to register the MySQL driver. And the next statement driver manager dot get connection will get connection from database after successful authentication. It will give you a connection by using that connection. We can able to execute any database operations like DDL, DML, DRL, anything. So I given step-by-step -step approach, okay? In four steps, we can able to create application. I have given step-by-step -step here. First, select a database, whichever database you want, okay? So if you don't have database, you need to install it. Either you want to install MySQL or Oracle. You can install Oracle 10G if it is available, okay? You can install Oracle 10G, their username, by default is system. And if you want passwords, set anything. My system password is admin. You can set whatever you want. Okay. So install your required database software. Then after first step, okay. After first step, second thing, select or create Maven project. Create Maven project. I'm doing it through Eclipse. Okay. So create a Maven project. Then add MySQL dependency. If it is MySQL, you need to add MySQL dependency. If you are going to use Oracle, you need to add Oracle dependency here. Oracle dependency you need to add. Then finally, create Java code and connect with the database. How to connect by using this code snippet. How it will work. When your Java class, when your Java class, first statement, class dot for name, by using class dot for name, when you load your driver, when you load your driver, right? Driver class name we pass here. When you load your driver, it will register. It will register with the driver manager. When you try to load, it will register with the driver manager. Then by using driver manager, when you call get connection method, get connection method, it will request a database. It will request a database machine to give one connection. In terms of socket, a connection will be opened and given to java so whichever database you are using irrespective of database okay you can use the same code class dot for name to load the driver get connection to get the connection so i'm using mysql or i'm using rkill or different databases will there be any different driver class that i need to load means obviously database vendor only will provide you these drivers so while i'm using mysql mysql driver i have loaded if you want to use rkill you need to use Oracle driver, you need to load Oracle driver. Okay. So for that record, for that regard, right? I'll creating one more new application and show you. Okay. Yesterday we created application for MySQL. Okay. We created a Maven project. In that Maven project, we have added a MySQL dependency here. MySQL dependency we added here. Then we created one main method application, main method class. There, first thing, step one, we are registering the driver. Step two, we are getting the connection. Step two, we are getting connection. Then we are creating statement here. It is a step three, create a statement. Finally, step four, step four, executing the query. In the step five, we are iterating the data. So the same code, right? Same code. Let me convert it into, let me convert this into Oracle database, okay? So let me create a new project, brand new project, okay? Create a Maven project. Click next. Com.rbu.jdbc with the Oracle. So one new project is getting generated. So first to create project, okay? First to create a project, first create a project, then add the dependency here. Which dependency I need to add? Which dependency I need to add? In between dependencies, in between dependency, right? Dependencies, you need to add your dependency here. In between dependencies, you need to add your dependency here. In between dependencies, right? You need to add your Oracle dependence. Which database I am using Oracle? 
10G. Oracle 10G, I am using. Oracle 10G. Somewhere here, yeah. This is my database. I'm just logging in. This is 10G Express Edition, okay? So, I'll connect with this database, okay? To connect with this database, I need a dependency here, Oracle driver dependency. So, you can go to Maven, search for the Oracle dependency here. I'm calling Oracle 10G, giving my version and searching here on the Maven repository. It is giving the first one, Oracle OJDBC 8 jar file, okay? So compatible from JDK to JDK level. And this is uh, uh, belongs to database uh, Oracle 10G version also, okay? It will support. So open this, okay? Open this dependency. You can see up to latest versions we have. Pick the latest version only always, okay? Go here, copy this dependency and paste it in dependencies. Done. Oracle dependency got added here. Now you need to write the code. Okay. You need to write the code here. Let me create a package. And let me write one main method class. main method load the driver step one load our kill driver in other sense i can say register register our kill driver class dot for name so the driver class name is oracle drive this is the driver class name. check whether this class is available or not it is available because we added, right, Maven dependency. So this class is available to us. Once you created a Maven project and add any dependency, right, the dependencies will be added to your Maven dependencies. You can see the latest JR file is added from Maven. Now, add this driver class name here. So this is the first step. Put your code between dry catch block. Sir, I'm fed up with try catch. I want to write throws. You can write throws also here. And the next thing is connection. Open connection here. Driver manager dot uh, get connection. Give your JDBC URL here. JDBC colon Oracle colon thin colon at the rate localhost colon 151 is the port number that is using. And default schema is XC. And uh, username password is system admin. That's it. Now you can just print your connection and see whether this connection is able to, uh, you know, get or not. I'm just uh, checking. I received a connection, which means it is able to connect with my database. That is fine. Now, what do you want to do here? I want to select some data. Okay, let me check for a table. Is there any table available here or not? A lot of tables are available. Let me check for student table. Select star from student. That is good. Student table is not available. Let me create. Create table. Student ID int name where care email where care to basically the data type is wrong okay where care to you can use where care we use in mysql here also right int we use in mysql for oracle you can use number data type. the only change is here it is number here it is where care in mysql we use int and where where care right instead of where character that's it so just execute this query table got created insert some data 
insert into student values id1 name email insert it so the data got inserted and by default here it is auto committed you need not to worry about commit or else if you have any doubt execute this command commit all statements are automatically committed that is well and good okay now let's write a code to fetch the data now we have connection what to do next same code either you are using mysql or rkill right you can use the same code here rkill mysql any database will have the similar logic code. so i'm just copying the logic pasting here okay creating statement here using the same connection then using that statement i am trying to execute the query so query will be executed data will be given into result set now i am iterating result set and try to print the data here let's run it and see will it able to fetch data or not so code is executed we got the data here sir can we fetch a number of records yes any number of records in real time we will have a lot of records right every table will have so same code will support you to read any number of records i'll insert one more record here two more records getting inserted Okay, at a time one record. Okay, two more records got inserted. Go back to your code, run it again. You can see it fetched multiple records. So like this, you can connect with any database. So let me conclude it, okay? I have created two examples. One is for Rkill and one is for MySQL. In MySQL, I created a simple Maven project and open POM file, add this dependency. MySQL dependency, you add. When you add this dependency, MySQL jar will be available to you. MySQL connector jar available to you here. And coming to code, you have to you have to load the driver first, then get the connection using MySQL URL, username, and password. After getting connection, create a statement. Using the statement, you can execute any query. DDL, which means create tables or insert data or retrieving any queries you can execute. So there are multiple styles that we will discuss. Uh, in depth and we are just selecting the data from student table from mysql and iterating it same way for rkill also i, can, I have created rkill maven project and in form file i added for rkill jdbc dependency so when i add that dependency maven jar file for rkill jar file got added here in your class path and just loading oracle driver class here oracle.jdbc.driver oracle driver so it will register this driver class with the driver manager after registering we are calling get connection and giving this database url which database whichever database i have installed in in my machine it is trying to connecting with this database this database socket is running in 1521 that's why i given port number this and this is the username and password so finally it is getting connected with Oracle database. So it is able to bring a connection here. Then I'm creating statement, executing a select query, iterating the data. That's it. Okay, simple, simple to connect with any database. Just you need to do these two steps. That's it. Okay, and you can create a simple Maven, add dependency, 
and you can do it okay it is very simple to connect with the database and uh, implementing it thank you guys